Hi. Dramatically increases his muscle mass, turning him into one of Gotham City's most ferocious physical threats. He's destroyed the Batmobile with his bare hands, jumped off skyscrapers without injury, and lifted loaded armored trucks which weigh tens of thousands of pounds. And then there's the feat he's most famous for, breaking the back of Batman. But Bane didn't just break bone, he literally put poor Batman into a coma. Well, years later, Batman oh. did get his revenge. After swapping powers with Superman, he paid Bane a visit and broke his everything. And somehow, this didn't kill him. He's one tough son of a bitch, and if he needs it, Bane can crank up his flow of venom for more strength and faster healing. But when he first tried this, it came at a cost. Turns out, an overdose of venom can temporarily deteriorate one's mind, turning Bane into a mindless, muscle-bound beast. Ah! And it's also surprisingly addictive. So eventually, Bane swore off the stuff for some time. But this only let Bane prove that he is just as dangerous even without the performance-enhancing drug. He's been pelted by dozens of bricks at once and taken countless stabbings and bullets without even reacting. He once cauterized his own wound with a blowtorch and even got thrown hundreds of yards by a last woman and got right back up ready to fight. Still off the juice, Bane is strong enough to tear down a stone prison wall, casually rip off an armored guy's limbs, and take out <coughs> dozens of members of the League of Assassins, solo. But if he really needs to, he can always fall off the wagon and get back on the venom. Bane's absurd power is matched only by his intelligent mind. He possesses a photographic memory, rivals Ra's al Ghul in chess, and deduce the identity of Batman in one year when nobody else could figure it out. Yeah, Bane's pretty ridiculous, but it's no secret that he's at his best when he's got that venom juice pumping through his veins. Luckily for him, he eventually developed a form of venom that didn't turn his brain into mush, and he then soon got addicted to that stuff all over again. Still, Bane has proven over and over again that with or without venom, anyone who crosses him will beg for mercy and receive none. When we fought before, I broke the bat. Today, I break the man. Huh. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But all this strength talk has reminded me I gotta bulk up. And the best way to do it is with a delicious home-cooked meal. Now, I'm a man who likes a good home-cooked meal. But going out to okay. buy or hunt my own so, food is a hassle. If only there was some way food could be brought straight is to Bane. me. Good news, Boomstick. Introducing Blue Apron, the so, yeah, number one so fresh my food choice delivery is gonna service be Bane. in the country. Using only the freshest ingredients, Blue Apron delivers a kit of ready to eat meals straight I just, to your door, I just along them. with I easy just, to follow instructions. I just Plus, the ingredients are perfectly proportioned, so it cuts down on waste, and you know you're using the right amount. On top of that, you can log into their website and select the upcoming meals that sound good to you, like the spicy shrimp coconut curry with cabbage and rice. Plus, it does feel rewarding cooking new and exciting meals right in your own home, but don't just take our word for it, we want you to try it. Because you're watching Death Battle, you can get three meals free with free shipping by heading to blueapron.com forward slash battle. Seriously, you will love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home-cooked meals with Blue Apron. So don't wait. That's blueapron.com forward slash battle. But right now, it's time for our Death Battle! It's the bat. No, it's something else. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You're mine! Fuck! 
Yummy. Oh! 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 Oh, your blood spicy! Delicious! Oh! So, you fall back on cheap magic tricks, trying to disappear, yet you don't know how to be truly invisible. Now, I give you permission to die. Uh-oh. You're just like all the others. Broken. I think I'm wrong. My choice, I think my choice was wrong. Oh! <laughs> I was wrong. That can't taste good. Both fighters were intense. My choice was wrong. Only one wielded the superior venom. Venom had many advantages over Bane. Speed, durability, versatility, and even strength. Bane's peak strength was at most just enough to lift a 27-ton car. Meanwhile, Venom was strong enough to stop a falling carnival ride and hold it up by himself even while in a weakened state. Comparing it to similar carnival rides, my very conservative estimate would place this thing weighing around 200 tons. Way more impressive than anything Bane ever lifted. Of course, Bane was smarter, however, even if he had deduced Venom's key weaknesses to fire and sound, he wasn't really equipped to take advantage of them. As for speed, Venom could catch bullets. Even better, he could catch up to bullets in midair. He had to move over 1,500 miles per hour to do that. Ironically enough, almost twice the speed of sound. Surprisingly, their durability levels were pretty even. Both have taken hits from Superman-level beings and lived to fight another day. The big difference being Venom's healing factor was far superior. He could fight on par with Juggernaut, who can make 4.8 magnitude earthquakes with his bare hands. But it's not like Batman ever needed super strength to knock Bane out cold. In time, Venom's superior strength, speed, durability, and versatility simply overwhelmed Bane. Looks like Venom was the real Bane of this fight. The winner is Venom. My choice was wrong. <laughs> hey, stick around to find out who's coming up next on Death Battle. And if you want to see behind the scenes commentary on the episode, then click that box and start a 30 day no! free first membership. The Thanks for watching. The yeah. Oh, they are. Is that a. Was that a. Power Ranger symbol? Okay, so I think okay, my Tris was wrong, but I'm one. Good job, him. I love video. <coughs> I also love you guys too. So thank you guys for watching. Brandon Gaming on, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.